You saw folks holding those umbrellas during that story. You know, the rain has been off and on all day. Of course, we're watching for thunderstorms. Meteorologist Nelly Carreño joins us, joins us again. And Nelly, I know you're in for Matt, and we thank you for being here. Well, I'm glad to be here. Good afternoon. You know, most of us got that barbecue in the last couple of hours. We've had mostly dry conditions, a couple of showers here and there, like Latoya mentioned. But overall, it hasn't been too bad of an afternoon. Temperature wise, though, it has been a hot one, especially across Connecticut. Currently 91 degrees in Hartford and due to the humidity, that 91 actually feels like 93 to 94 degrees. Make sure you stay hydrated, especially across Connecticut and western portions of Massachusetts. Now in Boston, even though it feels Feels hot. It's actually about 78 degrees. We did have a sea breeze that kicked in and that's helping us out in the city and right along the coast from Portland down over to the Boston area and over to the Cape in the upper 70s to about 80. It still feels a little bit warmer than that also due to the dew points and 80s for the most part across the north. Now we've been talking about the humidity, the dew point, which is the way we measure the humidity has been in the middle to upper 60s, close to 70. And once you get close to 70, it really does feel oppressive and the humidity continue will continue to be on during the rest of the afternoon into the evening, finally diminishing overnight and tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, lower humidity and not as hot. They will be just lovely days, but first we need to get through this 4th of July. Notice showers and some thunderstorms have been developing right along the Canadian border. Now they're moving very slowly towards the southeast, about 20 to 25 miles per hour. And the danger with these storms, gusty brief winds, but they're about 60 miles per hour as the thunderstorm rolls through. Also, there has been hail reported about an inch in diameter, so be aware of that. There is actually several warnings associated with this, severe thunderstorm warnings right along the Canadian border, central and northern areas of New Hampshire and Vermont. Be aware of it in the next hour or so. Now, this piece of energy will likely drop into New Hampshire and eventually into the Boston area, bringing a few scattered showers and maybe even some isolated thunderstorms. So all those people that are heading to the Esplanade, be aware of it. Take your umbrella with you if you can. If you know somebody that you can text or tweet, just tell them to make sure they have an exit strategy in case they get one of those thunderstorms. They have somewhere where they can meet their family. That's very important to stay safe. Over to the west, 101 in Chicago. That's where the extreme heat is. We feel hot because it's so humid out there, but really just in the 80s, very close to seasonable. Notice around 5 o'clock, still scattered showers, some thunderstorms. Then that front will start to slide in. Some downpours possible in the Boston area. The good news is most of this shows to be gone over to the east. By the time the fireworks go on around 1030, we will cross our fingers. It looks like most of it will be drying out. And then Thursday and Friday look just lovely. They will be less humid plenty of sunshine, dry conditions, and our next possibility for some thunderstorms will be late on Saturday afternoon across southern New England and overnight. Sunday looks just like a gem, 84 and mostly sunny.